Everyone invest their money elsewhere than in FANG. Isn't this just full speed ahead for growth? That's kind of what we said in the late 90s about the dot coms, too. They're all going up. Yeah, all but these are different, do, though, right? It's a one decision market. Aren't these are, yeah, these are different than are, not, not are. Nine, right? These are real companies. They're sitting on, I mean, mountains and mountains they, of cash. These are real deal companies here. They're real deal companies that have remarkably high valuations, and maybe they are deserving of those. But if you're looking at current multiples on these companies, you've got stuff in the well into the 30 times earnings. Uh, I, you know, part of this argument, even when you're when we're looking at Google for you know sort of lagging a little bit, is like arguing about which was the ugliest of the Gabor sisters. I mean, there wasn't one. They were all very pretty. For those of you not. Uh, <laughs> old enough to remember that. <laughs> but, uh, you, you know, th these, are, these are fabulous companies. They're all executing. Uh, and they have a safe place that are able to earn cash and have cash flow in a pandemic struggling global economy. So it makes sense that this is where you'd be. But you don't buy high with the expectation that you're going to get rewarded by everything continuing to move much higher. Buy I mean where they're not. Buy things Third? that still are going to recover that have been beaten up. Sky high multiples? I mean, these are in the 30s. That sky high. I mean, Amazon obviously has a high, times? High, high multiple. Oh, dear God, 35 times earnings. I mean, okay, so the cheapest one out there right now is Facebook of this group. App, at Apple's at 30. Times Apple's a PE of estimates. 30. <laughs> yeah, that's expensive. I'm at a four. Look, when I grew up and in this business, 14 times earnings was what you would look for. And somehow we talked ourselves into a more normal multiple of saying, well, I guess I'm okay with 16 times. 30 times is not a normal market multiple. You can look at it relative to a growth rate, okay? So on a Facebook, Facebook's got the best growth rate, which is why I say it's the least expensive too. 20% growth rate perhaps forecast over the next five years. Price to earnings versus growth is a key metric I've looked at all my career. That's a reasonable number. But these trees don't grow to the sky. They are not cheap. There are things that are better valued. That isn't to say that I would sell these, but I think you have to trim things when they get to be huge positions in your portfolio and deploy the money to more opportunistic, better values. Pete, you want to take on Mr. Farr on any of that? Sure, sure, I will. Um, so, Michael, here's here's where I disagree with you. I would I would agree with you if the growth rate of growth rate of Apple had slowed to the point where they weren't something that they really are, which is a company that continues to grow. And I mean specifically in yes, they've shrunk down in the iPhone. Absolutely, that's something we knew was going to happen. We've already priced that in, I think. And so that end of the business is slowing. There's no doubt about it, and that that percentage is a little bit slower. But, Michael, if you start to look at the areas that I continue to want people to look at, the wearables, the services, you look at the growth percent there, and you look at the cash. They made another $16 billion in cash just this quarter. So I think there's, there's a lot more to go into it right now than just saying, oh, well, the P.E. level is 28 or 30 or whatever it might be right now. I think there's far more to it. And oh, by the way, they do pay a dividend. They've got unbelievable cash hoard. They can do almost anything they want. And we <clears> haven't <throat> even approached 5G. So what does that mean for growth into the future? I think there are so many different areas where the growth rate is at a pace that I think a 30 multiple doesn't seem as expensive as it may have 10 or 15 years ago. Yeah, maybe maybe 30 times to, and, to, to and, today and me, isn't 30 let, times Judge, yesterday. Judge, let, 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 let me just be really clear. Uh, I own these. I mean, I own Apple I and Facebook and Google, and I'm going to continue to own them. But when you see stuff making all-time new highs, that's not the time to get excited for Fred and Ethel at home to say, boy, now's the time I'm going to put all my retirement savings into these FANG stocks. That, if you want to own a portion of them, fine. You've got to stay diversified, and you've got to have some better values out there. But, Michael, I mean, you telling people to, to buy value stocks and cyclicals and things that are tied to the, the reopening in, in a market like this, isn't this a case study into why these stocks have, have gone where they have relative to those other names? In over a four-month period, you would have been, you, you know, you haven't made much money being anywhere else other than these stocks. If your time horizon is longer than that four-month period to maybe even four years or 14 years or 24 years, 
then I think, yes, you want to diversify into some of those names that have been beaten up, that have good balance sheets, that will recover. And some of them have already started to recover as the economy is showing signs of life again. Yeah, I hear you, but it's so... So diversify. Uh, it's so uneven, right?